Colorado, a somewhat surprising cultural shift. A new study revealed that younger generations are using public libraries more than the older ones. TV 6 is Wafa as it shows us this trend from the local perspective. I think that transcends generation. I think it's just people love to connect over a story. A recent study by the American Library Association showed how the simple joy of turning a page is finding its way back into the hearts of the younger generation. It takes people by surprise when they think of young people reading, but Gen Z and millennials definitely still read and they do prefer print materials actually over digital materials, though they are our top digital material uh, readers as well. So it doesn't surprise me at all. I think it is a little bit detoxing from all of our screen time. There's something very calming about a book. I don't know, holding a book, feeling the book, even smelling the book can be calming. Um, and we're just so stimulated all day. And one of the lovely things about a print book is there's no ads. You can't click out of the, the page. The study showed that 54% of Gen Z and millennials have visited a physical library this past year, with survey respondents saying that they read and bought on average twice as many print books per month as any other category. Just publishing has gotten a lot more diverse. The romance collection itself, the romance um, genre itself, is just really diverse and rich and colorful. There is just a little corner of that um, genre for everyone, and I think that's permeating generations for sure. Even though we're talking about traditional books, as Kara Kaikendall, Adult Service Director at Rock Island Library, explains, social media and the internet does play a part in this trend. We have influencers that talk about books, Reese Witherspoon, the Good Morning America book club, um, Oprah's book club. Those translate into um, people reading that story, so I think that helps. Another big thing is book talk. Um, the, these younger generations, they use Instagram and TikTok to find their next book, and often they use YouTube as well. Um, so they're taking these suggestions from people that they trust. The study also noted that young library goers sample their books before making a purchase. Even an inexpensive book on Amazon can cost $15, um, and it's nice to save that $15 by checking it out at the library first and seeing if it's the right one for you. In Rock Island, Wafa is at TV6 News. That's pretty interesting. Now, the library in Rock Island extends its sampling service beyond books, offering a wide array of things like sewing machines, fishing poles, crickets, and tools for people to try without having to buy.